Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance and I hope you're doing well. We are going to get into some astrology today. Um, I don't do this quite often because I'm not super um, versed, but I do know like the main stuff and I want to give, uh, give to as I learn, you guys learn, okay? And... Um, just giving you the gist of what you need to know in order to navigate these next couple of months, okay? Um, and I'll get into, um, I'll pull cards in another, in another video because we have channel songs and everything. So, uh, yes, Mercury is in Taurus until the 13th June 13th and then it goes into Gemini um, and there's another planet that is in Taurus there are two more planets in Taurus Taurus is hopping um, Venus is in Taurus until the 22nd of June and then Uranus is retrograde in Taurus until the 24th of August so all that energy in Taurus makes us focus on the tangible stuff. Um, especially with, you know, the other things that are going on planetary-wise. We're, we're going to get into that, I promise. But it's not so... Um, I'm getting it's not as heavy with um, the communication and with um, Venus being in... Um, in Taurus Mars will go into Taurus um, July the 5th so there's this um, there's a bit of a, a balance with masculine energy is what I'm I'm picking up on in with the, all of this um, we're all focusing on what's next what we need to do especially with um, what's his name uh, Saturn. So, who Jesus. Saturn is in retrograde right now in Aquarius. So, the mind is on overload, but it's not, um, not meant to, um, push or drive you into any kind of chaos. This is meant for you to, uh, understand and recognize why things are becoming chaotic. Did you do what it is that you needed to do in order for things to uh, be more harmonious? Have you um, put in the work? Have you put in the effort in order for things to be smooth? And if you haven't, well, this is your check. This is your time of um, organizing and getting yourself together. Um, Saturn will be retrograde until October the 23rd so that's like four four or five months of um, checking yourself grounding yourself getting your um, new routines down because there's there's um, there has been a shift in energy and um, that's getting more into the esoteric side of it, but there has been a, a big shift in energy, especially um, with this super moon in Sagittarius coming up on the 14th. There's a there, there's going to be you know high emotion, high emotion. So getting yourself together and organizing yourself makes things go a lot. I won't say faster uh, I wanted to say faster but it helps things to flow a bit more easily um, let's see what else what else oh retrograde Neptune is in Pisces right now and it will be going retrograde on the 28th of this month so that um is a veil coming off uh, whatever it is that has been um, 
that you've been pushing off or putting to the back burner because you didn't really want to have to deal with it. You were just kind of allowing it to be whatever it was. Well, when Neptune is retrograde, that speaks more to seeing things completely 100% clear. Getting your... Um, your thoughts and your intentions and everything straight ready together and organized in order for you to be able to take action on those intentions for them to manifest so uh yeah just a forewarning to prepare for that pluto is still retrograde in capricorn so of course that is you know anything that is not um, helping you to progress to have gains to um, be more solidified in um, whatever your goals and achievements are whatever you have plans for it's whatever is 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 that whole is the meme of knocking the negativity and the distractions and everything out of the way because you have focus you have to focus okay and when it goes direct when it does come out of the retrograde it's going to um allow for a shedding okay um and last but not least Chiron is retrograde in its home sign of Aries. Um, I'm sorry, no, it will be going retrograde in Aries on July the 19th. And that um, is the whole, you know, wounded warrior kind of thing, whatever your, um, the wound was that, you, that you've been carrying uh, from lifetime to lifetime, whatever it is that you need to work on very much um, uh, light being shown on it, especially with Pluto um, already retrograde and it's getting down to like some core stuff. So um, that retrograde is going to help you to um, not just release, but understand the release, understand why you had to go through the things that you had to go through and why it feels like such a weight and such a burden and be able to exhale. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Jupiter being in Aries um, and then it'll go um, retrograde on the 28th of July that whatever has been um, expanded upon, whatever has been um, increased, you will have to go within and look at something. It, it's not going to decrease. I'm not getting the, the, the decrease. I'm getting whatever you've expanded upon. Something within that is going to need your focus and attention in order for it to continue to expand. Hope all that made sense. Um, I had uh, I had fun looking up this stuff. It was very interesting, and I'm going a little bit deeper with some other stuff with it because it was very. It's become uh, more enlightening. I'm I'm understanding this a bit more, and um, hopefully we can get some other stuff going. All right, Nuggets, I love you. I love you from my soul, and I'm sending you all blessings and light. Take care.